Hey guys, the Jordan here, back again with another Shadowverse video. This will be another collaboration with Game AI. If you guys do not know what Game AI is, you should go check out their website. I'll have the link down below in the description. But basically, you can find anything you want uh, in terms of Shadowverse content. They have tier rankings for decks. They have take two guides. Um, deck guides, latest deck lists, Shadowverse quiz, YouTube videos, and all that good stuff. So make sure you go check out our website for up-to-date Shadowverse content. It is in Japanese, however you could use like um, the translating function on your browser. Uh, the translations are sometimes a little wonky, but um, what, you can't really complain when you're getting good content. Uh, and, and when you use the translator, it's at least understandable. So this will be in our meta analysis. We're currently in week two of Starforge Legends, and um, I I know there was like an update in between this video and my first video in the meta analysis, but I missed that one because they updated like as soon as I posted my video, so I didn't want to make another one so soon. So this is like their third update, I believe, but this is my second video on the Starforge Legends meta analysis. So we're here on the tier, the tier rankings, and we're going to go through the decks. Basically, talk about what changed and what we expect to see. My opinions on the ratings of the decks. So as we can see in tier one, we see Agro Sword and PDK Dragon as tier one decks. Not much of a surprise there, as of course um, Agro Sword has been dominating the ladder. A lot of people are hitting Grandmaster with it, and basically this is the list. If you haven't seen it. Pretty much everyone's running this exact list card for card and that's because it's the most refined in my opinion like even in my tournaments i did not even in tournaments people don't tune the deck because it's actually just good the way it is so if you're looking for like a really good ladder deck definitely play this for fast wins um got a lot of one drops really aggressive a slacker on four when you have a board pretty much win through the game so not too much of a surprise seeing aggro sword being on the top of tier one at the moment so aside from Agro Sword, we see PDK Dragon being tier 1 still, but this one's actually, um, the list is different now. So before we saw people playing things like Genesis Dragon, even Jabberwock, Zeus, basically bigger stuff in their deck. However, p people are starting to evolve the Keeper Dragon list, so it's m much more aggressive. I actually have it built here as well on my decks. and. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot more early drops. Cut Dragon Oracle. Instead, you have a lot more two drops. Your ramp is Isla and Sybil. There's no fervor in this list because you got triple staircase of paradise instead. And basically for your gas. And basically you just try to pe kill people as soon as possible. You have your triple fortes, you got double Phoenix Rider Ina, you even have like the the Hippogriff Rider. Just a lot of storms to charge at your opponent's face, and you have your the deck's more focused towards your prime dragon keeper because of course there's a lot more early drops so you ramp up, you play keeper, it clears the board, um, gets your board big for your rider to get buffed or your Ina to get buffed, just gets in a lot of damage quicker. And so I do like this build actually a lot better than the um, older, older list because it's just faster, more aggressive so it's slightly better than the the former slower list when you would have like clunky cards like Genesis Dragon, you would have Fervor singing in your hand sometimes. So I do like this a lot better. I think it's a lot more fluid. That wraps up for tier one. They cut it off with just these two, which makes sense because these decks are the most seen on ladder, especially and they're winning the most games. So it makes sense that Agro Seward and Keeper Dragon are just the tier one decks. On tier two, on the top of tier two, we actually see a new deck as you can see. It's a neutral forest. This one's a bit different. I actually haven't tried this build of Neutral Force. Um, basically, it, it still has the Roach package, but it's put back in Elf Twins Assault and into the Looking Glass. So again, I haven't tried this list out, so I'm not too sure how it is, but I've actually tried more of the Neutral Force deck, Temple Neutral Force deck that I made a video of. And this deck has been winning games, man. Like I'm at 30 games in, and I'm at like a 75% win rate. 9-1 versus Agro Sword. Like this deck is kind of like a meta deck. It beats beats basically the tier one decks. Is it sometimes it's a hard matchup against keeper dragons, but 
Uh, the, the curse can be really disgusting, especially with Catalina Treant, um, Strix, Hector, Beauty and Beast, all consecutively. Your opponent just can't deal with it. Um, so this deck, I do think, a lot of people have been testing Neutral Force. It's been getting a lot of hype recently, so it could even climb further than the top of Tier 2 in future um, tier listings. Um, some people are running like Aaron's Dance of Death as well, so there's a lot of flexibility in the list. People are still testing it out and refining. So once people find a refined list, I do think this deck could make it to tier 1 possibly. It's, it seems very strong at the moment, like, especially like it's hard to deal with Beauty and the Beast a lot of times. Beauty and Beast into area is such a big threat. So aside from neutral force, we're also seeing another four stack on the top of tier 2, which is OTK Roach. Um, pretty much in the same spot as it was before. Pretty much OTK Roach is always near the top of tier 2, so nothing too new there. Mysterious Witch, I, I'm surprised to see it still being relatively on the top of tier 2. Um, this The build kind of changed from the previous video. It's more aggressive now, as we see. It's got like Levi's, Wizard of Savage, um, Mutagenic Bolt. So the deck is strong. It's like good against Sword. It's not so good against Dragon, but... It wins games, I guess, and so people are still playing it, and they still rate it near the top of tier 2. Ramp Dragon, of course, be still being around the top of tier 2 as well. Not too much of a surprise there. We see Lord Atomy is added, has been added onto the tier listings. It, has, it wasn't on the first week, but they put it back on there. It's in the middle of tier 2, which kind of makes sense, because it's not a really good ladder deck, especially with a lot of aggro going around. Um, it's not a good deck against aggro. It's more of a tournament deck because you could target things like Dragon, um, Havens, Rune, like D Shift Rune. But it's still in the middle of the tier 2 because even though it's like really good against certain matchups, it's only good if you draw your Atomi. Like if you don't draw it, you could have inconsistency problems and you just have like a bunch of small drops, you don't really do anything for a while. So. It's kind of a cheesy deck, so it, make, it makes sense that it's like a middle tier 2 deck at the moment. Nyptus Shadow is kind of surprising being in the tier 2 over Midrange Shadow. Um, I do think Midrange Shadow has been performing better, so it might change in the following tier listings. Aggro Vampire, Aggro Blood, starting to fall near the bottom of tier 2. That's usually how it is as meta sales down, like it's usually a good deck. Like almost tier 1, if not tier 1, top tier 2 um, in the beginning of new formats. However, it usually falls off once meta settles down. Um, it's still a cheesy deck. This is currently the list of it on their site. So it's got the token, the blood version with Karabos. Venge Vengeance Blood's up there. Um, bottom tier 2 still. Running Bishop. Or uh, storm storm havens up there. I'm actually don't see too many storm havens, so I don't. Sh it might change like after this tier listings. I just don't see this deck. People, m more people when they play haven, they're playing like the Aegis build with um with the Aether Aether wing in it. So I I'm surprised that that list is not up in tier two. I would think it would be instead of the storm storm haven. Um. This is the list, Aegis Bishop. Yeah, so this is the list I'm talking about with the Aether Wing and the Aegis in it. I think this deck could climb, especially it's it's like near the bottom of tier three, so I do think it could be a lot better than that. Um, we'll have to see in the later tier listings, but I haven't actually played the deck myself, but it seems strong when I play against it. So yeah, in tier three we see Aggro Forest has fallen down. It was it used to be like what top of tier two, now it's the top of tier three, so it fell down quite a bit. And um, it kind of makes sense, Agro, Agro Force was kind of like a cheesy deck to begin with, I didn't like it too much. D-Shift, Tier 3, makes sense, it's just not good on ladder because you run into too much aggro, too many bad matchups. It's only good for tournaments when you have a specific strategy in mind. Uh, Mid-Range Shadow, like I said, should probably climb up to Tier 2 in the future listings. Control, Control Blood was never really good a ladder deck, um, just because it's sometimes inconsistent. Um, so I think it's about right in tier 3, maybe it could climb a little bit up to tier 3. Aegis Haven, like I said, should be instead of Storm Haven. And, um, Alana's Haven is actually on this listing, which is kind of interesting. I don't see many Alana's. 
but it's actually got the Aetherwing Aegis build package in there as well. So very similar list to the Aegis, the other Aegis deck, except it's got the Alanas. So either one of them I think could probably climb up the listings a bit. Uh, neutral Force is something to be on the lookout for, and I think because people are starting to figure out decks that counter the tier 1 decks, like neutral, the Neutral Force deck that I'm running is good against like Aggro Sword. Uh, we could possibly see like changes in like Aggro Sword being tier 1, maybe it goes to the top of tier 2, I'm not too sure. Um, I do think Keeper Dragon is probably going to stay tier 1 until they pro they'll probably nerf BDK. Um, the keeper so hold on to them if you have them so you could get a full refund. Yeah, so that's probably it for this Meta analysis if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe Comment down below what you think about the tier listings. Do you think that some decks are under tiered or over tiered? Let me know your opinions down below and check me out my social media links my Twitter my twitch follow them all the links are down below in the description and as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.